Next week, thousands of fans will descend on Austin FC's brand new stadium for the very first home game. But as fans get tickets and start to make plans for that, one family says they're worried about parking options for their loved one who uses a wheelchair. KXAN investigator Avery Travis has a closer look at how accessible the arena is, plus more transportation plans for the big day. It's super exciting. I've uh, been waiting for this for a while. My wife and I are both big fans. As Austin FC's home opener approaches, Harry Jarvis's excitement is turning into uncertainty. There's a lot of people who are probably in a situation similar to mine who may be going through the same confusion and would like some answers before the game. There are new questions for the couple. His wife started using a wheelchair in the last few years after chronic pain and a back surgery made walking difficult. So he logged on to find out how to reserve accessible parking for the game. And that's where we ran into trouble. There's light rail, there's bus, there's bicycle. They've thought of a lot of things, but many of those things are not accessible to people with mobility impairments. Brian East is an attorney for Disability Rights Texas. He explained parking lots are required by law to offer a certain number of accessible spaces, depending on the total number of spots. For instance, if a lot has a total of 25 spaces or less, they have to have at least one accessible spot. For every 50 spaces added, another accessible spot is required, and lots over 500 require 2% of the spaces to be accessible. The president of Austin FC says they do have the required number of ADA parking spots, but the trouble is there are only 850 parking spots here on site in total, and those got snapped up quickly. So what they did was contract with a group called Pavement. It's an app that will help provide for nearly 5,000 parking spots off site at businesses and buildings within a mile of the Q2 stadium, and they say that might be even better. It spaces the traffic out as opposed to having it all happen on site. There's a lot of stadiums where there's um, thousands of parking spaces on site, and that doesn't necessarily lead to great ingress or egress. Lockdown says an accessible shuttle will then transport those fans from those spaces right to the front of the stadium. But at Disability Rights Texas, they often find clear communication of all the details and options can be the biggest barrier. It's important for living independently, living in the world, Jarvis says he spent hours online and on the phone, then went ahead and reserved parking through pavement, but still has questions. But I don't know where it drops off in relationship to where we're sitting. I don't know if it's on the exact far, you know, opposite side of the stadium or right next to it. I don't know if there's multiple stops. Avery Travis, KXAN Investigate. Capital Metro says they will also be offering accessible rides to a designated drop-off spot at the stadium entrance. We will post links to where to find or reserve all these options at KXAN.com.